I'm very, very pleased to be here for the first time in my life in, in this amazing festival. So I've been told a few years ago that the screening of Martyrs were something. I want to I wanna keep on insisting about the fact that what I'm going to propose you tonight is not Martyrs the sequel. It's totally different. Martyrs is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Um, doing the same kind of movie again would, would appear to me very dishonest. I did Marchers because I was in a certain state of mind at times. And now I'm a kind of different person. And, and also as a director, it's very boring to uh, do again, to redo what you have already done. But I think it's my, my new movie that you're going to watch tonight is still very personal. It's a script I've been uh, developing since a few years that is very close to me. Uh, in fact, this movie is not American at all. It's shot in North America with a North American casting, but I hope the spirit of the movie is very, very um, different from the average um, Hollywood studio thriller. We tried to pervert the rules of the thriller. We tried to propose you something different, unexpected. I'm not even sure the movie is a horror film. It's, I wanted to do a film that would be very difficult to put a label on. And even my, including myself, I, I hardly can la label this movie. Like it's part thriller, part something else. It's like a jigsaw, it's like a puzzle. It's like a mystery movie, uh, very inspired by the Jallo too. That's also why I'm so pleased to, uh, to, uh, to be with, with Dario Argento at this festival because he is one of my master. And for those of you who remember, March is what was dedicated to him. So. Um, the Tall Man is a crossover about a lot of things I loved as, as, uh, as a fan myself. And I put a lot of personal things into that movie. I became, for the first time in my life, a father doing that, that film, you know, during the shooting of that film. And that changed the tone of the movie drastically. Um, we'll, we'll talk after the movie. It's a dividing movie. Uh, in, in a way, I hope it's a daring film. In any case, it's very, very close to me and very personal, so I, I, I hope you'll like it. Thank you very much for coming and see you after the screening. Thank tonight you. I'm petrified, you know, it's not the, the case, you know, every time, it's not the case all the time, but tonight, you know, facing a, a crowd filled with uh, horror fans, you know, and, pe you know, young boys and young girls who know the, the genre as much as I do, you know, as a fan myself, I'm petrified about what they're going to think about the movie, because the movie is very personal, you know, it's very dear to me. Uh, so I just can't wait to get their reactions. Uh, Motel X is, is, is typically the kind of festival I cherish, you know, as a horror fan myself. So, so better than, you know, the, 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 the more uh, fancy, uh, more famous, big international festivals. I'm not saying it's not an important, you know, and famous festival. I'm saying it's a festival driven by real fans, people who, who really care about cinema. And that's, that I feel the same way. So I feel like it's, it's like a member of the family tonight. You know, I'm known to do dividing movies, you know, uh, getting uh, one kind of reaction from the audience does not really interest me. What I'm trying to do is trying to, uh, um, to make surprising films, you know, so films that do not comfort the audience in their prejudices, you know, in their expectations, trying to use the archetypes of, you know, a good thriller or, or, or a good horror uh, story, trying to pervert the codes and trying to propose something fresh and something that is close to me. My only advice, you know, to uh, young horror fans who would love to be directors is that do your movie. You know, do your movies. Don't, don't wait for anybody to give you money. Now, digital cameras are very, very not expensive. You know, you can buy one, you can afford one instead of buying a car, instead of buying an apartment. Just buy a camera, you know, uh, convince a few friends and do your films. You don't need to go to, the, to a cinema school. You don't need to know any kind of producers. You don't need to know any kind of actors, I mean, of well-known actors. You just need your passion, your dedication to it. And now, because of the access to a very cheap equipments you know with excellent quality you have no more excuse not doing your stuff do it